Hi. Today's mindfulness session will be on calming anxiety. So let's start today's practice by starting in a position that's comfortable with a straight back, with your shoulders relaxed, and let your body settle in. And rest your hands on your lap or your belly. And when you're ready, close your eyes. Today we're going to talk about thoughts. More specifically, we'll look at how anxiety arises when we have thoughts about what might go wrong in the future. And it's so easy for us to jump to conclusions to see the worst and predicting all types of catastrophes that haven't happened and likely never will happen. The reason we do this is because we view predicting things as a way of controlling the unknown, which of course is impossible to do. Even though our worst fears are really actualized, we still play our scenarios in our mind and we imagine embarrassments, rejections, and failures, and these thoughts can put us in a place of anxiety very easily. But if we're able to put a pause on these projections and observe our thoughts and identify them as that, just thoughts, and nothing else, they'll lose their power. So, let's begin by picturing yourself lying on the grass or in a blanket on the grass on a warm sunny day, looking up, watching the clouds overhead. You calmly observe the many shapes and sizes of clouds, watching them pass by freely. That's how we want to observe our thoughts, letting them calm and go freely. We want to observe them with acceptance and objectivity rather than with the usual knee-jerk reactions. So today we'll work on developing the quality of non-reactivity. So let's take another moment to get settled in. Feel your feet grounded to the floor. Feel the gentle pull of your gravity as your body relaxes. And when you're ready, take a few long, deep breaths. Deep inhalations and slow, full exhalations. Filling the body up with air and then releasing it. Return to the natural breath and locate the area where you feel your breath is most distinctly. That might be inside your nostrils or the back of your throat. It might be in your chest, your belly, or anywhere else in your body. And rest your awareness on that area where your breath feels more focused and tune into the sensation of the breath as it enters and leaves your body. Let go of any tension, just breathe in, whatever way feels natural to do so. The breath might be a long breath or might be shorter. Just relax into its natural rhythm. And if your attention has wandered, simply acknowledge that and return to the breath. When you have thoughts, watch them pass by like clouds in the sky and come back to your breath as your anchor. Tune into that one area where you feel the breath most distinctly. Each time you breathe in, know that you are breathing in. And each time you breathe out, know you are breathing out. So be aware of that and focus on one breath at a time, over and over. And while you do this, allow your body to relax even more.
Notice where your mind is. Maybe you observe strong thoughts arising. Don't try to repress them or push them away. When we give them power, they grow stronger, like the law of attraction. So we want to observe the thought and release it without getting carried away by it. This isn't the time to analyze. We're all here just to still the mind and observe. Thoughts will pull your attention, so let them come and go without reacting to them. And come back to the breath. And try to stay with the full length of the breath, no matter what. Each time you notice your mind has wandered, bring it back in a gentle, patient way. Whether you have a happy thought or an anxious thought, treat it the same way. Don't get caught up in the emotion beneath the thought. Simply observe it and release it. Let it pass like a cloud crossing the sky. Now gently bring your attention back to home base, the breath. So focus on the breath, and another breath, and another breath. As we cultivate moment-to-moment -moment awareness, we begin to notice how our anxiety is connected to our thoughts. When we learn to observe them as just that, thoughts, not reality, the less likely to pull us into an anxious tailspin. Each thought is just like a story we're telling ourselves, and most likely it's not nearly as scary as we believe. By learning to let thoughts rise and acknowledge them without reactivity, we interrupt the flow of anxiety which thrives on negative projections of the future. Meditation helps us develop this ability. And as we approach the end of the session, come back to this time and place, feel your feet on the floor, hear the sounds around you, and when you're ready, open your eyes. Nice job. So Dale Carnegie uh, is quoted as saying, happiness doesn't depend on any external conditions. It is governed by our mental attitude. So thank you and have a great day.